So I just got myself this uh, MacBook and I already see there's uh, everything working perfectly and I checked the I just checked the, the storage and um, there's plenty of space you know for the apps for emails and it still is good it moves really fast and uh, still moves it still moves fast but the problem here is that if I look here in the in uh, system data as you see here system data even I it used to be much bigger, but you can still I, I can still clean this even more. So um, yeah, it's uh, 30 gigabytes. It's it's something. So I have to I have to clean this up because uh, you know even though there's space available quite a lot, um, you know 30 gigabytes. It's something I can get rid of. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you can do it. Uh, watch this until the very end because I'm gonna walk you to the entire process. And um, yeah, that's how we're gonna do in this video. So simply here, if um, just some of the main things we the main things that we have to consider first, maybe there's an app that we aren't using that much anymore. So of course, make sure you delete that app. You can click on here on this eye here. And now here you can see all the apps on your machine. So let's say I'm not, let's say I'm not using uh, this virtual machine anymore. So just click on delete. Also show in the folder. I know this uh, is uh, really taking a lot of space. Especially I'm looking where is it uh, here? Documents 58. So I don't have that many documents but because I have this Windows 64. Look here. This is taking 32 and other files uh, here, but in generally it's good that you can click on here and see all the files. And then you can click on a file and click on delete, uh, delete, or you can also click on, sorry, you can also click. Uh, so you can also click on show in folder. You know, or you can uh, from here you can click on applications, and then let's say I'm clicking on this, uh, not this, this showing folder. Now here you can see all your applications. You can see downloads. So if you can clean downloads, of course, and of course also make sure you clean your bin. So. Write down uh, the bin. Just click on empty bin. That's um, that's something really essential. And picture uh, pictures not, but you know, in uh, on usually in documents or downloads and applications it might be simple. But probably there's apps that you have that you haven't used that much, and that can help. And also now here. Actually, I'm gonna go back here. Actually, let's go in Finder. And here, what we can do is to delete the caches. So, here, press Command Shift G. And now, here, enter. Like this. Cash. Now press enter. Now here we can see all the cash. And, um, here you can see a lot of cache, and uh, here if we want to see this more, like this more, uh, because now we can see here our libraries, caches, and then here, maybe you want to go here manually, so yeah, you can go in your uh, Mac, and then users, and then 
user library in caches. And now, of course, there's a lot of uh, cache related to After Effects and other programs here. Majority is usually will be from Adobe After and uh, from Adobe because if you have Adobe, if not, uh, of course, from other apps. And now, of course, let's clean this. So, uh, so here in. Uh, in the cache, let's clean everything. So yeah, let's click on the caches. Let's uh, press Command A and select. And now let's click on Delete, so we can delete everything. Now. Let's go back system settings and let's go to general and then storage and then here let's check. Probably for me, yeah, it won't be the you won't, I won't see much of a difference because usually it's dirty for every Mac. Now, of course. Um, we can also clean, let's say, the bin now, empty trash. And now should be a little bit of a difference. Now I'm pretty sure if I'm also deleting other cache related to other apps. And also I encourage you guys to install this app. That's what I'm using when I want to clear or I want to delete an app. This will actually delete all the files. Uh, not only the app, so also the files. Let's say now I want to delete an app. Well, let's say I want to delete this app right over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do to delete this app, I can grab it and drag it here. I can grab it and drag it here. And now I can click on remove. But not, it's not only removing the app, also the files related to that app. So I can click on remove and we'll get rid of that app. So very nice, very good app in my opinion, and you can also remove system data as well. Now, uh, if you also, as I said, you know there's some apps that you aren't using consistently. Let's say I'm not using Blender, and to be quite honest, I'm not using that often Blender. So of course, I'm gonna go back to that app I just told you about. Gonna grab it and drag it here. Now I can click on remove. Remove everything related to that app. And now let's see if there are other apps here. Now let's check our system data and it's already 40. So of course if you're removing uh, some apps or your system data will change and you'll see a difference. So yeah, I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and take care.